Treasure Hunters, welcome to today's show. Uh, today I'm going to be going over some of my boots on the ground gear for 2019, so let's get to it. At the end of my search season in 2018, I came across uh, something in my solution where it only re required me to have a certain amount of gear. And the funny thing about it was, was the things that I needed are all things that Forrest Fenn has said, you know, to take along with you. So let me show you what I'm going to be carrying in 2019. So first off, grab my pack here. This is kind of what I carry. It's a, it's just a, a waste pack. It's got three different bags on it. It's got ample room for carrying stuff. But anyway, let me show you what I'm going to be carrying. Uh, when I got to this particular spot in my search last year, I needed particular items. And the weird thing was, it's all items that Forrest said to bring along. Uh, I needed a flashlight. That was one of the items that I needed. Um, gloves. I needed a good set of gloves. Uh, it was kind of hard doing what I was doing without having a set of gloves. I needed rope. Rope was another important thing that I needed it, when I got to this particular spot. The strange thing about it was, was uh, it, fit the di it fit the Dizzy Dean story. Um, it fit it to a T. You know, what I was doing and where I was at, it was almost uh, like the Dizzy Dean story. Um, one other thing that I needed, shovel. I needed a shovel. And here's a couple more things that I'm going to be carrying. I'm going to be carrying all this this year. And this is basically all that I'm going to be carrying besides water. Normally I carry uh, more gear than that. First aid kit, which I'll probably still have in the pack just in case because it's always better to be safe. Um, metal detector. You know, it's better to be safe than sorry. I always, you know, have a metal detector along. And then... One of the other things that I'm going to be carrying again this year is the poker. Something to poke the ground with. Um, this one's still got the fork on it. I'm going to have to cut a couple more of these down and put a point on it. The reason I say the poker is I don't know if it's really for poking in the ground, but I'm going to have a couple of them. I mean, they're light. They don't even weigh, you know, they don't even weigh a half a pound a piece or anything like that. But anyway, remember Forrest keeps talking about the... The fireplace pokers. Well, you know what's on a fireplace poker is uh, most of them have a hook on the end of them. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep these straight, but if I have to bend one, bend one of them over to make a hook, um, it's just something that I got, I got, I got a thought in my mind. I'm thinking, well, I better be prepared. If you've ever written Forrest, Forrest usually tells people to be prepared. Um, I don't know if he's talking about gear, but, you know... Pretty much, if Forrest is giving you advice on things to take along, these are things that you should have. And it's just really strange that I come to this situation in my solve, and this is all the stuff that I needed. I mean, this is what I had to have when I got to this spot. I will have all my other gear along, but it won't be, you know, I won't be lugging it around. I'll, I'll keep it in the vehicle. Um, I always take everything that, just in case I need something. I generally make it back to my car. You know, every two or three hours at least, I'm back to the car at least once. And then I'll, you know, I'll have a drink, I'll eat something, and then I'll go back and continue my search again. I know this season's pack may sound a little unusual or a little strange, but, you know, Forrest keeps saying, how deep is a hole? How long is a rope? And it's just funny how that's what I needed when I got to this spot. I needed, I needed rope, I needed a shovel, I needed gloves, and I needed a flashlight. Um... The poker, the poker, uh, kind of like goes along with the metal detector. If it if it was buried in this spot, it helps locate it. But if it's something that I have to reach up into, having a, having something with a hook on the end of it to pull it closer to you would make a huge difference. Um, Forrest talks about those guys with long, lanky arms, you know, and out of a, out of a normal man's reach. So. Better be safe than sorry. Uh, guys, I just want to shoot a video out to you today. I know it's not much of a, a clues video or anything like that, but uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you tomorrow.